Imagine, if you will, the Campi Flegre supervolcano suddenly erupting in 2023. What would happen? Tucked away in the heart of Naples, Italy, a dormant force lies beneath the surface, a sleeping giant known as the Campi Flegre supervolcano. Its history stretches back over hundreds of thousands of years. The last time this titan awoke was roughly 40,000 years ago, a time when ice still covered vast sections of the Earth. Its eruption then was so powerful it spewed ash and debris that blanketed the entire planet, causing a significant drop in temperatures worldwide. This dramatic climate change led to the extinction of many species and altered the course of human history. Now, fast forward to today. With bustling cities, interconnected economies and a global population of over 7 billion people, the impact would be unimaginable. Now, picture that same power unleashed today in our modern world. To understand the potential impact, we must first delve into the science of supervolcanoes. Now, you might think that a volcano is a volcano, but that's not quite the case. Regular volcanoes like those you'd find in Hawaii or along the Pacific Ring of Fire have a fiery temperament, yes, but their eruptions are relatively small-scale and localised. These volcanoes are like the firecrackers of the Earth's crust, popping off now and then to release their pent-up energy. Supervolcanoes, on the other hand, are the sleeping giants of our planet. They're like the nuclear bombs of the geological world, quietly biding their time until they unleash their cataclysmic power. The key difference lies in their magma chambers. These are vast, sprawling reservoirs of molten rock and gas far larger than those of their smaller cousins. Take the Campi Flegre supervolcano, for instance. Nestled beneath the bustling city of Naples, its magma chamber is a behemoth, stretching for tens of miles across and holding an estimated 390 cubic kilometers of magma. That's over 300 times the volume of all the water in Sydney Harbour. This magma isn't just sitting there idly, mind you. It's under immense pressure, like a shaken soda can waiting to be opened. And when it does open up, the result is an eruption of a scale and power that's hard to fathom. That's a lot of magma ready to explode and cause widespread devastation. So, what exactly would happen if this supervolcano woke from its slumber in 2023? Well, the immediate aftermath would be nothing short of apocalyptic. Cities within the immediate vicinity would be obliterated, swallowed by the earth as it spews forth molten rock and ash. The eruption would also trigger tsunamis, colossal waves charging across the Mediterranean, laying waste to coastal cities and towns. Even those far from the epicenter wouldn't be safe. Ash clouds would rise, darkening the skies for thousands of miles, grounding flights and bringing day-to-day -day life to a standstill. But the effects wouldn't stop there. No, the true devastation lies in the long-term impacts. You see, the ash and gases released by the eruption would linger in the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and causing global temperatures to plummet. This sudden climate change would wreak havoc on ecosystems around the world, leading to widespread crop failures and a global food crisis. The explosion would also cause a dramatic shift in weather patterns, leading to unpredictable and extreme weather events. The world as we know it would be thrown into chaos, and survival would become the order of the day. Now, this isn't to paint a picture of unavoidable doom, but rather to underscore the importance of understanding our planet and its volatile nature. An eruption of this magnitude would undoubtedly reshape our world in unimaginable ways. It's a grim picture, but it's essential to consider how we might prepare for such an event. In the face of a supervolcanic eruption, preparedness could mean the difference between survival and catastrophe. One strategy is stockpiling food. In the aftermath of an eruption, Crops could fail and food supplies may be disrupted. Having a reserve of non-perishable food items is a wise measure. Another essential aspect of planning is developing evacuation plans. Knowing where to go and how to get there safely can save precious time and lives when disaster strikes. Lastly, we must continue to invest in scientific research. The more we understand about these geological titans, the better we can predict their behaviour. This knowledge could provide us with crucial warning time, allowing us to take action before an eruption. While we can't prevent a supervolcano from erupting, we can prepare to weather the storm.